start this video right here real quick uh we are getting ready to put some stuff on the top of the hutch which is right here and as you can see it has a good many things on it already but we do have three of these to go on either side and they have little uh candles in them and we have them chris packed them up in here really nicely when i decorated for christmas because we didn't have room for them up there thank you for turning the light on honey <laughs> So these are gonna go up there, and then I have some candlesticks with round, uh, large round blue and white balls on them with some greenery. So I'm gonna put those up there too. And Chris is going to put the uh, garland up. So after we get all that done, I'll come back and do a little bit of a reveal for the top of the uh, hutch. And then I have one question to answer, and then I've got a little bit of information to give you from Bobby there at perpetualribbons.com. And I've got one little thing to haul. Whoop. That little thing right there. Hmm, what is that? Huh. We will haul that in a minute. I'm feeling a bit better today. Uh, not stellar by any stretch of the imagination. But I think I can do this little video. And I want to get something out for you guys. And I want to get the top of the hutch done. So, I'll be back in just a little while. Okay, I'm sitting here giving my wonderful husband, who is the best thing ever, kind of directions. There's the uh, garland almost up. I've got to fix the bow, but he, he needed to go get something to go to help this swag piece that goes right there put up. Um, we have command strip hooks up there, but these are kind of heavy, you know, and thick, so I'm not sure what he's doing. Probably tying a uh, something on there to hold it to the hook or to hook that around but here are the uh these goblet candlesticks almost and i got these from kirkland's you know, oh, excuse me when we lived in the other house i mean it has been a long time i've had these these used to be up on top of uh my grandmother's secretary up over there that's where they used to be in the other house but uh I uh, like them up here. They've been up here on the top of this hutch ever since we moved in. So they will be going back up there. And, and here's the mercury glass candlestick. I have two of them, you can see. One over there too. And I made this candle ring out of lamb's ear and pitberry garland. And then I got the big balls from at home, I believe, last year. So they will go up there too. So we're just fixing to get this finished, so I will be back in just a minute. Okie dokie, everybody, here we go. Chris is up on a ladder with the with my phone there, and I'm sitting down here at the table. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and let you know how he did a couple of the things up there. Uh, you see the big plate in the middle. Uh, he lifted that up a little bit with some wood. And he made it so that the wood could go all the way back and touch the wall because the holder that we need to use for that plate is big and because that plate is super duper heavy and it needed a nice wrought iron plate holder. So he had to jimmy around with that a little bit to get that to work a little better for us. Those lanterns I've had up there, got those at Hobby Lobby, I believe you guys, but years ago, many years ago. Uh, I got those even before we moved into this house and because I knew I wanted them up there. I believe they've been up on that hutch since we moved in. And then, as you can see, he hugged the, uh, the candlestick globes kind of, you know, from the back, moving down in height from the back to the front and kind of around the back of the plate because you really can see, I'll show you later, but you can really see or Chris is showing you now, as you walk in from the kitchen, you can see this upper hutch from the side. And I didn't want to, you know, have the backs of everything showing. So that's why we put the globes up there for a little bit of interest. Uh, you can see that we have plates. Blue plate was from the Culpepper Minute Man Mini Mall. And then the white plate was from our dear friend Dee that she gave me. Remember, she gave me like 12 of those plates. Oh, my goodness. And then we have them on chargers and we have them all, Chris glued them all together, one on top of the next, 
with Gorilla Glue, which is uh, linked in my Amazon shop. Then you can see I have a couple of mercury candlesticks, like I told you, mercury glass candlesticks, like I showed you down here, with uh, you know lamb's ear and pit berry candle rings with the big ball. I got the balls from at home last year. So then with the garland, uh, I was wrong. Chris does not have command strips up there. Instead, he's put two screws that he screwed into the top of the hutch, which I know that was a sacrifice for him. He doesn't usually like to do mess with wood in any way, shape or form like that to damage it. But he did put two screws up there because I've always got something hanging up there. So he's got the garland and then the swag pieces on the other side wrapped around the screws and secured into place that way. And then of course the middle of the, the uh, garland goes behind the finial there. So I got back from this. I love how it looks. I think it's super pretty. A little bit more formal than the other uh, hutch is, which, you know, this room is a little bit more formal. It's not crazy formal, that's for sure. But uh, this is an old hutch. This hutch is probably 35 years old. And uh, it, you know, it stood the test of time. So I think it's really pretty. I think it looks really pretty the way we've arranged everything up there. So thank you to the cameraman there. <laughs> And I will be right back in front of the camera and we'll be chatting with you a little bit here in just a minute. Be right back. Okie dokie, everybody. Here I am back in front of the camera again. <laughs> Please excuse my appearance. I'm, I'm still not uh, feeling my best, but I am feeling better. I'm feeling much better than I did on uh, Friday evening. I started getting this Friday during my video, during my Friday's video. I kept swallowing hard and my throat was sore. And then I started sneezing after, as I was trying to edit that video and get it up. And you know how it goes when you start sneezing. Oh boy, you've had it, you know. So I was pretty much down for the rest of that night, all day Saturday, all day Sunday, all day yesterday. I was pretty much down for the count. Today I'm feeling a little bit better. It's breaking up. It's feeling better. You know, I am I still, you know, have a coughing fit every now and again, <laughs> you know, which is not pleasant, but it's fine. Not COVID. Uh, my whole family was checked. We're not, we're COVID negative. So, you know, it's, it's just a cold, you guys. It's just a, a, a dumb cold. You know, that's all we can do. That's all, you know, we just go, it's, it is what it is. And I'll just wade through this <laughs> until it finally goes away. So, you know, a head cold can be miserable, though. You know, you hear people talk about the COVID and about how horrible it is, and it is. And I'm not saying I'm not minimizing that in any way, shape, or form. But I've been pretty sick just with a cold, you know, just with no fever. I never had a fever, you know, so I'm grateful for that. But, boy, you still feel, you know, like you have a head full of snot. So, which I know I sound like I do. I didn't even, couldn't even talk yesterday, y'all. I could barely talk. So, I was, I was a mess. At least I have a voice more, more of a voice today. So, all right. So you saw how we did the top of that hutch. Uh, I was going to, and I'm not, I just don't have the energy to be honest with you today. And I don't know whether I won't take another day or two off between now and my next video. I think that would probably be a smart thing for me to do if I can hold myself back. You know, that's the most difficult part is for me to hold myself back because I'm always wanting to do things. I'm always ready to go to the next thing, you know, but sometimes the Lord kind of goes, hey, Hey, you, just sit there and relax and heal, you know? So, but let me turn my camera here real quick. I, I, what I'm going to do when I do come back, oops, I don't want to show you that yet. But what I want to do when I do come back is I'm going to be cleaning out this entire hutch. I might have it cleaned out by the time you guys come back. And I am going to be redecorating it in there with the same stuff or with some of the same stuff. And I'm going to be tweaking it. Uh, it has a little bit too much in there for my taste right now. It's a little bit crowded. You can't see what's what in there, to be honest, because I've been I've been adding this. Oh, wow, where can I put this? Oh, I'll put it in the hutch. Oh, wait, no, where can I add this? Where can I put this? Oh, wait, I'll put it in the hutch, you know, and this hutch has become a catch-all, and that is not what I want to happen with this hutch. So I'm going to be cleaning out the hutch, and we're going to be downsizing the stuff that's in the hutch. Oops, sorry. And re-tweaking, you know, going to be tweaking the inside of that. 
I'm also waiting, probably cannot do a video tomorrow on Wednesday because I'm waiting for some, uh, I've been staying out of stores. You know, I've been staying out of stores. I don't want to give anybody this. So we've been staying out of stores until I'm feeling a little bit better. So we ordered four um, picture holders like this. And here are those plates that I got, you know, it helped to put it right side up. <laughs> and I, uh, and you know, of course this hutch has a little lip, you know, in the shelves, but I'm going to actually set all four of these up, I believe on the top shelf, and I'm going to display them, you know, as four plates, one, two, three, four in a row, you know, because I really want to highlight what they are. I don't want to put two on the top, two on the bottom, because then you lose the meaning of them all, you know, I think. So I'm going to, you know, line them up, one, two, three, four, probably put a bowl in between the two, but have them all on the same shelf. Shelf. So it's more of a co cohesive look, if you will. So I'm waiting on uh, more plate holders to come. Uh, all the same. I only have these two. And so I'm waiting for those to come from Amazon. What did come, what I wanted to show you, was this little lamp. And this is just like a little lacy little lamp. I got this from Amazon. It's very bright, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Don't. <laughs> but what I bought it for was on the, for the top of this little hutch over here. That is kind of a dark-ish corner, even though it's, the hutch is lit up. That was my grandmother's hutch. That is the hutch that I used my mom's doll, her uh, Madame Alexander doll, who's dressed in blush pink. I always make that decor, you know, around that doll. She's my inspiration for that little, that, so I have one little pink thing in my house through the seasons, through all the seasons, you know, and even at Christmas, as you guys saw. So I wanted something for the top of that though, to lighten it up, to lighten and brighten it. So I got me one of these that'll go between the angels up there. So that hutch will be coming, you know, as we work our way through, but I wanted to show you that it's real pretty. I have it linked in my Amazon shop. So I thought that was super pretty, and that's how it looks. It's not anything super duper special. It has a toggle switch here on the on the cord. Isn't that pretty? So I think it'll be super pretty up there, and it will brighten up and lighten up those. Uh, also, I bought some more of these uh, cobalt blue colored candles. I love these. These are beautiful. Uh, these are from Amazon. Uh, they're not extremely cheap, but I have linked them, and they're, what are they, 10-inch mm, coconut wax blend, dripless tapers, burn time, 8 to 10 hours, 9-inch, it's 9-inch taper, so I bought these, it's because I'm always switching out my candles, you know, and I needed some more blue taper. So I got those. So that's all I have. And they're both from Amazon. So let me open up my questions here. I'm drinking copious amounts of water. Copious amounts of tea. Willing myself to get better. Okay. First of all, I wanted to talk to you about Bobby. Uh, Bobby is our little lady from perpetualribbons.com. And she got in touch with me yesterday and was saying, oh, Arlene, could you please, I want to go ahead and put a blurb up in your group. But she's just moving from California to Colorado. She just got to Colorado and she still has it having her furniture and everything else. Y'all know how it is to move. Then on top of that, her dear sister was walking uh, her dog out their back door and apparently they had gotten some snow and the her heart she fell and broke her ankle and is having surgery this morning not bobby bobby's sister please say a prayer for her you know and and let's hope that she makes it through that surgery okay and hopefully she will recover nicely from that uh but it's just been one thing after another for poor bobby and the family and you know i just want us to hold them up in prayer but let me read to you here on my uh youtube channel for those of you who are not in my Facebook group, I wanted to read you her words that she said this morning. She said, hey everyone, I want, I just want to let you know that I'm okay. I'm in Colorado, but it was definitely a rocky road getting here. We ended up leaving two days later than we expected. And then my sister who decided to come with us slipped in the snow walking her dog and she broke her ankle. So I'm going to be reopening my shop a little later than I expected. 
But the good news is that I have a lot more inventory than I realized, and you guys are going to benefit from that. I will keep you posted from here on out. I miss everybody so much and can't get, wait to get back in the swing of things. So as you can see, she's working hard. Bless her heart. You know, if it weren't for, <laughs> what is it with Murphy? You know, Murphy, if, if something can go wrong, it will go wrong. You know, sounds like she's having her friend Murphy with her. For sure, bless her heart. So let's hold them up in prayer today and, and let's hope that, that her sister comes through the surgery and Bobby's able to, you know, go and visit with her in the hospital. I think she said one person is allowed to visit and make sure she's okay and then, you know, not get too overwhelmed with trying to move in. And then I told her, I said, don't worry about your ribbon. I said, you guys are patient. I said, my subbies are patient. They'll be there waiting for you. It's okay. It's not like we have anything pressing that we're trying to get done right now here in January. You know, it's it's okay. You know, so anyway, I just want to let you know about that. Bless your heart. And then I do have one question from Maya Yale. She says, I really love the chatty videos interspersed with the decorating ones. I've told you before, but I could listen to your yammer on all day. <laughs> I have a question for the next time you do some Q&A. Do your daughters and Dustin have any interest in ever doing going on a family cruise? I know how much you and Chris love Alaska and was just curious if your travels over the past decade plus of cruising had cost any of the kiddos or even your extended family to get the travel bug too. Can't wait to see the videos of you reconstructing the front of your home. You look lovely as always today, Maya. Oh, thank you, Maya. Oh my goodness, don't look too close today. <laughs> so I'm going to close this down and uh, Candace and Dustin have gone on a cruise uh, Candace got a little bit of seasickness happening to her, and uh, she was none too thrilled with that, <laughs> which I don't blame her. Uh, they went to, I believe, the Caribbean is where they cruised. I think both of my girls would love Alaska. Uh, I think they would if we foot the bill. Of course, that's very, very expensive to cruise in Alaska, I will say. And, you know, they've got life happening here. They're young folks who are, you know, just getting started. And, and you know, if Chris and I treated them to a cruise, I feel sure that they, they would probably want to go and enjoy it. They would really enjoy it. Um, but no, I wouldn't say anybody else in the family. My parents were big cruisers. My parents were. Uh, but nobody else has really gotten the cruising bug like Chris and I have. We're, we're explorers. We like to go and explore, you know, and see what's out there. See what's you know, I love history. I love to experience new things and different things. And so we just go for it. Thank goodness we found each other, you know? <laughs> so, but no, the kids, the kids love to travel, but they're so busy with work that it's hard for them to get away for an extended period of time. When you go to Alaska, it's, it's hard to go to Alaska for just a week because it's so far away from us here on the East Coast that, you know, flying all the way, like acclimating to the new time zone, it's not that bad. It's a four hour difference from here. But, you know, it's it's a lot. It's a lot. Because of the flights, it makes that that cruise for those for those of us here on the East Coast or those of you coming from Australia, hello. I know you guys do it all the time. I've heard some people stopping in Hawaii on the way though. That's pretty good. That's a good deal for you guys. <laughs> So, uh, but it's quite the track from, from the East Coast all the way over to, you know, uh, for an Alaska cruise. So, especially when you're flying all the way up into Anchorage, it, it's, it can be pretty, it's an eight and hour, eight and a half hour flight, I think. Uh, was it eight and a half hours, Chris, from Chicago, right? Or six and a half? What? From Chicago to Alaska. Six or six and a half hours, plus another three from Virginia to Chicago. Usually we go through Chicago, you know, or we go through Dallas. If we're going to Vancouver, we usually go through Dallas if we're going to Vancouver. But but anyway, no, not too much, not too much. I wish they would because I'd love to take them. Now, you know, everybody's really excited about going to the beach with us. You know, they love that, but not so much cruising. And that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> But anyway, all right, you guys, I think that's going to do it. My voice is uh, not wanting to hang in here with me. Uh, so I think I am going to shut this one down. But I'm glad I was able to come on and say hi and let you all see that I'm okay, uh, that I'm not struggling. I mean, I'm not 
like in bed and I can't move, you know, I'm, I'm in a chair and can't move too much, you know, but, uh, but I have my tea and I've been, um, getting caught up on some of y'all's, uh, videos out there and trying to comment and, uh, and say, Hey, to you guys too. So, um, you know, there's a silver lining with every little thing that comes down the pike. You guys, you know, I just had to find it. I'm pretty sick and not a happy camper. I don't like being stopped in my tracks like that. I do not like it. I do not enjoy it. Nobody does. Nobody does, you know, so. But anyway, all right, I'm going to shut this one down. And uh, again, I don't know when I'll be back, but I'll be back when I can. How about that? <laughs> so let me just say that I hope that all is well with everyone. And for those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, Y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.